Oh my God. This is incredible. Hi, welcome back. We're Brian and Marisha. We're currently overlanding the Baja Peninsula for two months with some friends and our dog Klaus. We are currently back on the eastern side of the Baja Peninsula, camping at a remote beach on the Sea of Cortez. We thought we'd be here overnight, but to our surprise, it is so insanely perfect, we've decided to stay for a few days. Good morning and welcome to Punta San Basilio. This spot is on private property and the owner does allow camping here if you follow some simple rules, which they have posted. We stayed here for three days, so stick around and we'll give you a tour of this amazing place. Hinting, 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 yeah. Hi, Bob. See how clear the water is. A little, just a little bit of elevation. I like that little bridge, rock bridge thingy. I mean, look at this bay. This is insane. I want to go up there. This is awesome. Everyone leaves a little something. Put something in here. I know. I don't even know how there's a house up there. That's like an overhang. I don't even know how far that overhangs. That is <laughs> mildly horrifying. Seems like an ill-advised place to build a house. You're very ill-advised. Yeah, there's uh, there's the beach where we're staying. Let's see if I can get Chewy and Klausy right about there. Let me hike all the way around here. Dude, that sound is so loud. Let's get close. in here. You don't want to walk up? You can go down and see. I mean, if you fall off, it's only like eight feet. <laughs> on stone. Just eight feet onto stone. Come on, Brian. Look at how cool that is. You don't usually get to see all the layers of fossils. I mean, look at all the layers of shells. And then it's all... Yeah, look at this guy by Brian's head. That guy right there. Oh, I know the marsh. I pointed it out to you. I know. I'm not pointing it out for you. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. 
getting up here is pretty easy. Oh, this feels good. Oh, we're like in that dude's yard. Hello. This is the bridge thingy. I hope it comes out half as good as it is in person because this might be the most beautiful place I, I've ever been in my life. Yeah, two giant fish things. I don't know what the hell those were. I don't know if you can see the shadows. What the heck are those? Maybe they are sharks. They're feeding on something. We were gonna go snorkeling. <laughs> now I don't know what the hell those giant fish sharks are. They swim around like sharks. Yeah, but what else would eat fish like that? Bigger fish? Give us a rock garden tour. Not much to say about it other than it's badass. <laughs> Time well spent. I was working yesterday and Brian made some rock gardens. Okay, he circled the bushes with rocks, started to fill it in, as hopefully people will fill it in as they clear the beach. Just like that. Oh, there we That's go. That's the real presentation right there. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Looks good. It's real good. Started the landscape over here. Ooh, I like that that beauty. It's really all about the entrance. <laughs> when you come in. Are these little hearts or are they no, just they're not hearts. triangle designs? Mm -hmm. Little pathways to paradise. Pathways to paradise. Look. Ooh. Oh, did a good job. Well, as much as we don't want to leave our little slice of heaven, it's time to move on. It's trips like this and places like this that teach you how to slow down and really savor the moment. Like we said before, this was supposed to be a quick overnight spot. No longer do we analyze what's to come. It's best to enjoy the now and don't worry about what's next until you actually get there. Whoa, oh hello. Uh, this might be the nicest. It is. It is the nicest little farmstead we've seen in all of Baja so far. Check this out. So you drive past this to get in and out of the camp spot we were just in. And watermelons? Every oh, they're all watermelons. Oh my god, look how tiny they are. And squash. This is super nice. Rancho Cuesta Blanca. Horses. Same guy owns all of this. He's got some. Just, I mean, even the horse paddocks are perfect shade for them. Um, 
chicken coop, nicest chicken coop ever. Um, Did they see? Tons of veggies. Yeah. So nice. Pretty legit chicken coop for sure. <laughs> Uh, we have to film this view leaving our campsite because, again, the drive in is just as freaking cool as the place itself. All right, past this coming in day before yesterday. Let's see if we can see it all. Oh, yeah. So you get this tree going on a cliff that used to live there. And then the cliff's gone underneath. But all the roots are exposed under what has been washed away because we are driving in an old riverbed. But look at all the roots. It's actually really freaking cool in here. I'm just making sure there's no freaking pack of coyotes that's gonna come out and get me. <laughs> there's a cave in there. I'm pretty convinced there's coyotes in it. Oh, and somebody put a little shrine in there. Right in that hole. There's a couple little Jesus candles. See? You gotta go out in the middle of nowhere to find all the cool stuff. All right, we're hitting the road again. This is why it takes us forever to get anywhere. We're headed to Scorpion Bay. We'll see you there. Join us next time on Baja Slow and Low when we finally check out Scorpion Bay. And we have no swell. And we head back into nowhere. See you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Adventure is calling.